Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, with our update for Monday, March 1st, 2021. Free play coming up. College basketball, big game. Oklahoma taking on Oklahoma State. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. First, quick note, star of the show for me on Monday as we kick off the new month is soccer. And the game goes at 3 p.m. Eastern time, so plenty of time to get this play. It's a six-star play in soccer. We won again yesterday. We had a plus $1.45 winner on Liverpool to win by shutout, and they did just that over Sheffield 2-0. And I uh, wanted to mention it because the month of February was terrific for us in soccer. We won 67% of our soccer plays, and we picked up almost $3,000 for $100 per unit betters. And we're looking to kick off the new month, Mar month of March, the same way we did in February, which is another winner. And again, it is the star of the show for me. It happens once in a while in soccer when we have a big play on a, on a side that we feel holds the value. That's the case in this one. Again, it goes at 3 p.m. Eastern, so you got a chance, plenty of time to grab it on my homepage at DocSports.com. We'll look to cash this six-star play. And as you know, I don't lay big prices in soccer. It's three-way betting, and uh, so you get a good opportunity to make some cash on these plays. Also wanted to mention I've got a play in college basketball four-star on Monday's card. Rare pass in the NBA. I handicapped the card, didn't like it, so we're going to wait until Tuesday's NBA. And I've also got NHL. We're up 13 units over my last three. That's it. Three NHL cards up 13 units. I got a play going on Monday slate, so check that out. Still kind of ticked off about NASCAR. We lost a matchup on Sunday. Uh, we finished two positions lower than our opponent uh, on the track on Sunday. A drag there, but uh, again, big plays going on Monday, led by that six-star afternoon play in soccer. Let's get to our first free pick video for Monday, or for March, I should say, on Monday, and it's Oklahoma State hosting Oklahoma. Now, the Cowboys and Sooners just hooked up a couple of days ago on Saturday, and Oklahoma State won the game 94-90 in overtime. Real quick note on that. Oklahoma had a 10-point lead in the second half, but then Oklahoma State's freshman phenom, Cade Cunningham, goes nuts, was the MVP of the game. 40 points on 9 of 13 two-point shooting, sunk three three-pointers, made 13 out of 14 free throws, had 11 rebounds, scores 40 points, and that was that. He just had the huge second half for Oklahoma State in the game. In fact, uh, he actually came up just one free throw short of what the entire Oklahoma Sooner team made at the free throw line. Unusual when you're at home and you shoot a bunch less free throws than your opponent, but that was the case for the Sooners. So it was a big uh, free throw disparity. Nine more made free throws by Oak State over Oklahoma. The big game out of the freshman, Cade Cunningham, scoring 40, grabbing 11 boards, and still they had to come from behind to win in overtime. I believe that Oklahoma will return the favor. I think you'll see Lon Kruger doing some double teaming on Cunningham. He, did, he had one assist in that game, by the way. Handled the ball that much, he had one assist. He's not looking to pass. They'll double up on him a bit, and I think change the outcome on Monday's card. By the way, speaking about assists and turnovers, Oklahoma State had just nine assists on 31 made shots. They turned the ball over 20 times, but again, Cunningham was the difference maker. So listen, they also out-rebounded Oklahoma pretty pretty well, and, and, and I don't see that happening here also. Oklahoma State, not exactly an elite rebounding team. Uh, so we're going to recommend to play a free play on Oklahoma over Oklahoma State on Monday's college basketball card. Again, don't forget, six-star play in soccer is the star of the show for me on Monday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column.